everyone good morning today it's a Saturday but it will be a busy day because yesterday we didn't do much so today we gotta work a little bit Brian is still in the room he just woke up he's getting ready and I'm going to the grocery store because I want to buy new oil that is not olive oil I want to buy rice oil because guys I feel like I'm slightly allergic to olive oil if any of you has an allergy to olive oil can you please tell me what it feels like Ohio he lives with us but today since many of you asked actually like three people but that's enough for me I don't get a lot of comments we're gonna talk about how our families reacted to our engagement were they happy were they worried do they have any concerns you will see. It wasn't easy because of the kanji problem but I eventually found the rice oil I was looking for and a coffee, a much needed coffee I don't know why, I slept 8 hours last night but one second, I'm being a weird person with a camera on the street Let's go home and say hi to baby boy! Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. And this is our room. I cleaned it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Brian wanted to shoot a video for his YouTube channels and since I use his camera, of course I let him do it. See you later. with my parents thank you growing up they never said anything like specific but it was under the impression that for my parents it wasn't really important that I got married they cared about me being happy and feeling satisfied about life like they didn't really care about me getting married and I always almost felt like they didn't want me to get married too early I don't know, they never said it openly, but I had this feeling. When I told mom and dad that he proposed and that we wanted to get married, I was like, oh my god, how will they react? Because I know that they love him a lot. My mom loves him, my dad, he's picky, but he loves Brian a lot. So I knew that, but I was like, how are they gonna react? And I was surprised because I felt that they almost expected it. Like, when did you tell them? Slash, when did we tell them? We told them even before you proposed, like that we had this plan i think they saw it coming because you know international relationship we honestly planned it with your mom <laughs> yeah in a complete honest way i feel that they think we're a good couple and that it's a good time and oh. they're happy and my mom it's now she's super excited like she's helping us plan the, the wedding. wedding she talks about the wedding with her friends i think she's happy and my dad is happy too ryan's mom do you want to talk about your mom so basically the first person in my family that I told was my brother because my brother came to visit us in Italy and I was like Chris, me and uh, young son are uh, getting married and then Chris was like cool like my brother doesn't have strong reactions about anything yeah. so he was like cool cool after that my brother stayed in Italy for like two weeks and then he went home at that point I knew he was probably gonna tell because he's a, like he runs his mouth so to say and I knew he was gonna tell my parents so then I called my parents like a couple days after he got home and as I was on the phone I was so nervous to tell him so I ended up not telling him but my mom kept being like is there something anything going on is there something you want to tell me and is everything okay and I was like no because I wasn't thinking about the marriage at that moment so I was like what the heck is she referring to and then when I hung up without telling her I was like oh my god she must know that's why she kept asking me that so then I called her back and I was like do you know and she's like know about what and I was like did Sonia. Chris tell you? yeah and she's like Chris did Chris tell me what that Sonia and I are getting married 
And she said yes. And she was like, yeah. And so then my dad was just like, congrats, B. Honestly, okay, Chris, I love you, but you can't keep secrets. Definitely not. Chris cannot keep secrets. No. But this time, I was happy that he couldn't keep the secret because I wanted Brian to tell his family. I don't know, it's a big thing. And I was like, you should tell them as soon as possible. And I was telling him and he was like, I need my time. It's a big thing. In person, he would have had to wait for like a while. An extra month. Yeah, and I was like, no, oh, it's so important. You should tell him. But I was trying to respect Brian. But I'm happy that Chris did it this time. Yeah, I'm actually glad Chris did it too. Yeah. It would have just been like shocking if all of a sudden I was like, Mom, I'm getting married. But Chris did that part for me. But I knew that your mom would be happy because she was always like, when are you guys getting married? But they reacted well and they'll come to the wedding. Super positive reactions from our family members, especially Rock our on, parents. Dude. Now, let's go and have a very late lunch because we are both starving. I'm starving right now. Let's go. For lunch, we had this sort of brunch. We always try to be as healthy as possible when we eat in the house and we are a little more lenient when we go out just to have fun and try a little bit of everything. You need balance in life. After that, we worked a little bit because we had to go out that night and we wanted to get some work done. Again, balance. I mean, who am I kidding? Everybody knows I work too much, but I try to have a good work-life balance. And guys, before Sonia starts part two of the vlog, I'm wearing these white shorts. And I was like, Sonia, does this outfit look okay? And she was like, yes. AKA, no. No, I think it's okay. I'm just not a fan of white shorts, but it's okay. You're always beautiful, baby. We are going to a beer garden with some friends. I think it's only popular in Japan. Pretty much it's like a rooftop bar where you mainly drink beer, but you can also eat snacks or chicken, stuff like that. You go there after work, mainly for the summer. This is is only... this on a rooftop? Yeah, it's always on a rooftop. A beer garden is always on a rooftop. You like it. I'm just thinking, one thing about our families and weddings is in your family your sister got married before you so you're not the first kid to get married in your family For me, I'm the oldest of my cousins and I'm the first one to get married Yeah That's the first for my family this generation Yeah, late beer garden a really nice one we had the all you can drink formula so we could get all the drinks we wanted I don't drink so I got tea and these are some snacks that you can find at a beer garden not really vegetarian friendly but we had so much fun I didn't care after the main party we wanted to go to the Nijikai the Nijikai is like the second party it's very popular in Japan a second round of drinks pretty much but we don't really drink so mm-hmm Hey Paul, say hi. Hello. You were already in my video once. I know. I felt weird because I watched the videos. <laughs> okay, never mind. We wanted to go to the Nijikai, but the last train was at midnight and it was already like 11, so we decided to go back home. I think Brian is a little bit drunk. Three drinks, I feel, I, I'll be honest, I feel altered, but definitely not drunk. I don't drink, so I'm totally straight, just a little hungry, maybe. But thank you for watching. This vlog ain't over. We're going to the community of pancakes. She was gonna wrap up the vlog, but I'm continuing it. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you found this interesting. She's gonna wrap up the vlog. Not cool. Bye. <laughs>